くぞはっ<笑>ェノサイン勝った Hello everyone, what's happening? This is Forgo, and we have a lot to talk about today. We have some new characters, we have a new super mission, we have a new roulette, we have some new purchases that we can make. So let's talk about all this. We also have a new event dungeon. So, first thing I'm talk about is this super mission. And now we're going to be able to get Midsummer Night Shazur. And I have got to tell you guys wow, she looks spectacular. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. Now, Netmarble, you just need to give us a fest version of this character. But this is a good start. Holy mother of God, she's beautiful. Blue defensive fighter. And she has an amazing leadership. This is a completely free character. I think this is awesome. Increases blue element fighter's attack by 45% and power charge rate by 20%. That is great. No matter what type of blue fighter they are, as long as they're blue, she's going to give them that 45% attack and that power charge rate that's really going to help、um, build up your PG gain so you can use your ultimate skills. That's wonderful. You look at her core effect 12% blast skill damage increase, 6% damage decrease from red elements. Uh, reflects 40% of burn damage received and recovers HP by 2%. So she could prove to be useful against characters that do burn damage and becomes immune to damage for two seconds when accumulated attack received reaches six times two seconds later and freezes the target for two seconds. So she's got a little crowd control on a 20 second cooldown and a little、uh, durability with that immunity. That's pretty good, not too bad. Look at her skills. Increase attack by 20% for 7 seconds. That's great.、Uh, her next one is PvP exclusive. Disable targets roll for 3 seconds upon landing a skill. Strike active skills for 2 seconds when a successful skill or guard included in. So if they're guarding, if they're blocking against you, you're still going to be able to apply this effect, which is really good. And then she has deals additional damage equal to 140% of attack to all e n e m i e s upon a successful attack. Too bad that isn't 200%, but that's pretty much saved for Fest characters like Swimsuit Mature and Lovely Kula, but still not bad. Some extra damage. And this is a grab skill, this is a blast skill, and this is a blast skill. And then she frees all enemies for one and a half seconds. Actually, a good striker skill, so she could be used as a striker as well. Hell yeah, let's do it. Okay, fairly fast. Man, she looks so beautiful. Oh, nice. Do the second skill. Nice. Pretty quick skill, not too bad. Okay. And then the third skill. All right. Changes level, starts low, and then goes high. All right, cool. So, a good skill to get him on the ground. These other two skills actually knock him up in the air.、Uh, she looks like a, a decent character. I mean, definitely for a free character, she's pretty freaking sweet.、Uh, let's look at her special here. <laughs> nice little nut shot there. <laughs>、uh, reminds me of Le、uh, Leona. It's funny. Here we go. Oh, look at her. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. Sweet. And Storm of Wrath. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. I always like these super missions because, you know, you get a free character to help build up your codex, but maybe a character that can be useful. And I definitely think that Midsummer Night Shazura can be useful on top of being just a beautiful looking machine here. Oh, my lord.、Uh, let's look at her relations to see if there's anything. Decrease the remaining cooldown. And、yeah, let's see here.、Uh, some okay stuff. Nothing really standing out. So I think that's fantastic. You're going to be able to get her card. You're going to be able to get some goodies, get a hammer. You're going to be able to get a gold memory for a blue element fighter. That's freaking wonderful. The next thing we have is the roulette here. And we can get Swimsuit Kula. Now, this is a character that's already been in here. And by the way, it's nice that we have these free ads. That's going to help do the requirements for the bingo. So that's really nice. And Kula here, I can tell you, she's just a really great leadership. She got the increased blue element fire attack by 50%. Solid. But actually, 
uh, the Shizuru that we just looked at is actually better because she's got that PG gain and only 5% less attack. Thula's a good character. She's decent. She is stronger as far as her damage. She's got a lot of chill damage on her. But, I mean, a lot of us already have her. She's been in the game for some time now. But still, it's nice. You know, you'll be able to have a chance of getting her, maybe getting her card if you need it. And this card will work on Lovely Kula if you don't have it for some reason. So it's still pretty cool. Now, we also have a new event. And in the new event, you're going to be able to get KOFs here, All-Stars, and Purple All-Stars. So make sure you're playing this sucker right here. It doesn't matter what elemental color you use. You can use any color you want to take it out. So that's pretty sweet as well. And then we have the new fighters. Now, so now we have the new loyalty system here. And there's, there's good and there's bad about it. Uh, the good thing is we're going to be able to... And good Lord. Good Lord. Just, just right off the cuff. Look at look at Vice. Look look at Vice. I mean, seriously, look look at this girl. Look at her. Holy mother. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. She looks so beautiful. Oh lord. Oh lord, oh lord. Just for aesthetics, I'd want that girl. Oh my lord. But anyways, I'm getting off the topic here. But uh the loyalty points, the way, way it's gonna work is obviously the more rubies you spend the more loyalty points you're going to build. The bad thing about this is before we did 200 summons and then we got the uh, voucher ticket, which we would, you know, have a chance of getting a certain fast character. Now you have a guarantee of one of these characters that you have up here. You can, you're, you'll, you'll, be able, you'll be able to pick one of them. So that's the good thing. There's no RNG when you go all the way to the end. However, now you're going to have to do more summons, which means spending more rubies. You know, so on one hand, it's better because you have a guarantee of getting the fighter you want. Personally, I like that. Uh, it's still a United Banner. All these fighters are still in here. So I think it's a nice little compromise for everybody. Although some people might not like it because they're going to have to spend more rubies to get to the pity. So I can understand if people have a complaint about that. Personally, I'm fine with this. You know, we had to expect some kind of compromise. We can't really expect them to give us every freaking thing, you know, and keep everything exactly the same when they make these crazy changes. And this is what it was before. It was 300 summons for the pity. And also with this system, you know, you'll have your character, the new character that comes into the game. When you're coming in here, it's because of the United Banner, you still have all the high chance up for all these characters you're trying to get. You can still try to get these memories. It's not a separate banner. You're, they're all in the same banner, so you still could get other some of your other favorite characters or memories you need for them. So I'm perfectly okay with this. I think this is fine. Now let's talk about some of these deals in the shop, and then we'll get to talking about Vice. So they have some pretty good deals actually in the shop right now. They got this one here for uh, $20 more or less than my currency, an American currency. You can buy this four times, you get 800 rubies. You're going to get 20 tokens here, well, 20 summons. You'll have the voucher here, and you'll have the battle card voucher. This is actually not a bad deal. It's decent, fair. And then this one here is real interesting to me. You have a thousand rubies. You can you have a fest fighter voucher, which means you you're not going to be able to select the fi the fighter you'll get, but you will get a fest fighter, which is good. Then you have a fest fighter memory element selection, which is pretty cool. So this is something a little bit different than what we've had before. I might have to buy this to check this out. I'm pretty sure what this is, is it's like a replacement for your Fest memory. So for example, if you have Rock Howard, he's a blue fighter. If you was to pick the blue Fest memory, you could use that instead of his actual memory to awaken him. Now I'm not for sure. I'm going to have to buy this and check it out, which I probably will do because I think it's a decent deal. And then you have a purple element memory selector where you can just pick a purple element memory. That's kind of whatever, but it's nice. But I think this is a decent deal, especially if these memories here work the way that I think they're going to work. And then this one here is actually a really good deal. I'm really surprised by this. A thousand rubies. You got a plus imprint stone selection box. You can choose the imprint stone that you want. 
Uh, that's I, I absolutely love that. This is for $25. And you have 50 gold hammers. Very hard to come by these things. And they're giving you 50 of them. 50 of these hammers will, in fact, all these hammers combined, you'll be able to take an imprint stone probably up to level 10 with one of these packs. And then you have the plus capsule stones. Now, it does, in a way, it's kind of crappy because it will enable whales and people that spend a lot of money in the game to advance faster in the game. But so far, like on my free to play account, I don't, I only have one a character awakened. Oh, actually, two. And I'm still winning in League. I'm still winning in Infinite Battle. I'm still doing pretty good in the game. You know, and I haven't, I mean, I, I don't have any characters awakened, no imprint stones, nothing. So I think it's fine, uh, especially if I'm able to do it on my free to play account and only having two awakened characters and no imprint stones at all. So I think it's fine at this point in the game. And I think $25 for these is actually really good. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I probably will end up buying two of these things. Uh, I really like this deal. I think it's pretty damn good. Uh, this, this is. This, you're, what you're paying for is saving time. That's what you're paying for. It takes forever to acquire 50 of these damn hammers. It takes forever. So this is actually nice in my opinion. Now let's take a look at Vice. Oh, the girl of the day. There we go. God almighty, she looks so beautiful. So now we have Midsummer Night Vice. She's a purple defensive fighter, and it's nice that we actually can see her. I love the squirt gun. Hmm. I could make some references, but I'm not going to. This is a PG-rated uh, video. Or PG-13. Leader skill. Increased defensive fire attack by 35%, crit rate by 7%. So that's exactly how my buddy translator translated it before. Strike skill damage increase. 30% chance to reset cooldowns of grab active skills upon landing Ravenous, which is her first skill with a 10 second cooldown. It's not bad. It's not bad. But you got to land this skill and reflect stun. Oh, now this we didn't know. Reflect stun. PvP exclusive increases the target's damage received by 60%. Oh, but for seven seconds upon landing a skill on a stun target. So you're going to, if you're facing characters that have stun, this, there's no, you're going to reflect their stun. There's no cooldown on this thing. And then you're going to increase the opponent's damage received by you by 60% for seven seconds. That's actually pretty good. We'll see how that plays out in PVP, but that's actually really good. Now, our first skill, and this is Raven, this is the one that can reset. Uh, it's a strike skill. Increased defenses by 38%, which is great. She's a defensive fighter. So it's going to increase her defensive stats, and her attack's going to be based off her defenses. So the Mr. Big set, the KS set, probably number one. Uh, the Kula set, those defensive sets are going to be really good for her. They're going to synergize really, really well with this. And then her PvP exclusive, disable the target's roll for three seconds when a successful skill guard included ends. So that's awesome. When you can disable rolls, that's awesome, especially for a character that has grab skills. Think about it. If they can't dodge, if they can't roll, you can grab them. They can't get away from you. So that's actually really damn good, especially for a character with grab skills. Then her second skill, check this out. Increase attack by 42% of defenses. So you have the defensive buff here. She's a defensive character. And then increase attack by 42% of defense for 7 seconds when using the skill. PvP exclusive. Disable the target's active skills, which means it doesn't matter if they're blast, grab, strike. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what type of skill they are. She's going to disable them damn things for 3 seconds, even when a successful skill guard included ends. So if you do this skill, you're going to disable their active skills for 3 seconds. However, I believe you're going to have to get the grab on them. So you're definitely going to want to disable their roll so you can hopefully get their grab next. And it really be a good idea to increase your defenses first and then go into this skill. We'll see. We'll take a look at the animations, talk about it a little bit more. And then she has gains super armor. I really wish that was hyper armor. 
uh, because she has no damage immunity. Uh, that would have been really nice, but she's got some good things in here. You know, she has the super armor. She has a decreased damage received by 70% for three seconds. Really great, especially on a defensive character, especially one that can buff their own defenses up. So that's actually really good and can be used while being attacked. So she has an interrupt skill with a super armor skill. Now, it's not like Pretty Bigs where she has hyper armor or John Cena where he has hyper armor and they have the can be used while being attacked. But still, it's good. So you're going to take damage using it, but you're going to decrease damage received by 70% and you still can interrupt their skills. So if they're doing regular skills or not using hyper armor, super armor, you can easily go into this skill, interrupt their skills and start going into your combos. Well, actually just grab them. So yeah, that's actually really good. And then nothing here. So let's check her out her skills. Let's look at these animations. Okay, so she just has a 5 PG card. Ooh, I like it. Look at that. <laughs> the animation kind of reminds you of uh, Ukiyo's or Gentoki's second skill, except she jumps in the air. So it's a skill that only hits when you're high. It's not going to hit from when they're low, it doesn't look like. Blacken. Ooh, that's pretty fast. That's pretty fast. Ooh. Okay. And then her third skill. And that's a skill that can interrupt. And she knocks him up in the air. So you will be able to go into your grab afterwards or go into your one skill afterwards. You will be able to combo. Ah, oh, so that skill doesn't knock him around, knock him in the air. I'm not sure how I feel about that. It'd been nicer if it would have knocked him up in the air, but still. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. I got to watch that again. I got to watch that again. Oh, my God. Netmarble, what are you doing? Oh, my Lord. <laughs> like a snake, man. Woof. Woof, man. Lord, Lord. Woof, woof. So, Vice looks like a pretty solid character. Uh, whether or not she's going to be breaking, like, the major meta, I don't know about all that. Uh, I think she looks like a decent character, a good character. Definitely, for sure. I mean, she's definitely a fest. She's going to be strong. But... I don't know if she's going to be top tier. We'll see. You never know. Sometimes, you know, characters can surprise you. So we'll see. So another pack that they offered in the shop was they had these uh, little deals where you could spend $5, or I'm sorry, $2. They had five different packs and you could spend $2 for each pack if you're up to rank 100 on your rankings. And so I spent $10 and I ended up getting, you know, you'll get 400 rubies total if you spend ten dollars and you'll get all these tokens so let's go ahead and collect it you know i have to support the game so you get 600 rubies well no i got 200 of those from the login and everything but you'll get 15 of these 15 of these so you know it's not bad it's not bad so we're just going to keep all these same fighters in here we're going to go ahead and do our cards first Here we go. I do want Vice, though, for sure. Like, I do like her, and I think she's going to be damn fun to play, but we'll see. We'll see. All right. Come on, man. Hook it up. Ryugo. Ryugo. Actually, a, a Kea card would be really nice. Mm. Ah, crap. Not a... Nope, not a bummer. Oh. Okay. Come on, come on. Overall, I'm pretty damn excited. I'm really happy with everything they've done. Uh, I really like that we have a new uh, elemental event. I really like that we have a new super mission where we can get the Shizuru. Uh, I think Vice looks like a pretty solid character. I'll have to check that card out. Cool. Okay. 
Yeah, not bad. Not bad. All right. Just give me old vice. And give me swimsuit mature too. That'd be sweet. I really should put swimsuit mature. What the? No way. What do we get? What? No way. <laughs> oh yeah. Cool, man. Sweet. Sweet. I can test this girl out. All right. This is awesome. Oh my Lord. She looks so, mm. Lord have mercy. Oh my God. That is so freaking cool. Oh, I love you, baby. Oh my God. That is so freaking sweet. Hell yeah. That is awesome. Another fest. Cool. Uh, give me another one for vice. I mean, am I asking too much? <laughs> am I asking too much? So I can awaken her. That'd be pretty cool. Nope. Nope. But it's all good. Hell yeah. Man, I can awaken this guy to some unknown levels right now, I think. And really bump up old Neskio. Man, I can't believe I got Vice already. That is so awesome. Good, that means I don't have to go to pity. <laughs> Conserve on those rubies. Okay. Nice, another all-star there. Cool. Well, let's go ahead and pull these. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That's the crappiest luck, man. Well, not crap. I mean crappy in a good way. Okay, we'll skip that. So, I'm really happy. I mean, I know it sucks that we do have to go, you know, do 300 summons. I know that sucks. We got to spend more rubies, but... Again, you know, when you come in here, you're going to have a chance to get any of these characters. You know, they're not they're not in a separate banner. So, actually, I like it. I'm very happy with it. I think it's sweet, man. I'm really loving it. So, let me know how you're all feeling about uh, the new Vice. Man, I'm so happy I got this girl. Uh, let me know what you think about everything that's going on in the game, how you're feeling about it. And let me know what characters you've gotten, what cards you've gotten. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.